Hey guys, it's Orb Stone. Today, welcome to another episode on my How to Become a Better Trader series. And today, we're going to be talking about knowing when the best time to sell and also buy your players is. Before I go into the video, if you guys would like to see another episode of this series, let's get 100 likes on it to upload. So, 100 likes for me to continue this series. And if you guys are watching this and not subscribed, I do recommend you guys go and do so. I do daily fee 15 training tips and series and everything to do with training in general. So, hopefully, if hit that subscription button right now and hopefully you'll not regret it now if you're not sure what this series is basically what it is is i provide you guys some tips not necessarily like trading methods but more like mental tips and bidding techniques which just help you to become a bit more of a better trader mentally if that makes any sense so obviously trading methods are good but if you don't have the mental mind for it like the hesitation that sort of thing and the confidence you won't really do too well so this is a massive part knowing when to buy cards and knowing when to sell is absolutely big because obviously that's where the profit is made so first of all let's talk about the best time to buy your cards now this is different for everyone because obviously you guys are all from different time zones and to find the best time you pretty much just got to test it out you got to trade in every single time zone so three o'clock in the morning or maybe not three o'clock in the morning but three o'clock in the afternoon six o'clock in the morning you got to trade in different times and try and find the best time for you to trade and the reason why this is so important is because one of the main reasons why people quit trading is they start trading at peak times and they can't pick up any cars because that's when all like the big boys are actually trading um, like the people who are really experienced and know a lot more than the person who's just come into training so that's why they quit but if they start trading at peak time they've had more chance to pick up deals and basically make more profit so I do recommend you guys going to test it out and another big reason for actually testing it out is because it can be the difference between you trading for like five hours and picking up two deals at like maximum peak time and then trading at a lower lower time where there's not as many players on and picking like for example 10 deals in one hour it could be that big of a factor so I do recommend you going along and just trying to find the best time zone for you for me personally the best time for me is during 7 to 9 o'clock in the morning so 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and it's normally the best time where I can pick up a load of deals really really quickly but obviously it's different for different time zones so take that into consideration so let's go into the best time to sell your players this is also a big thing so the last thing you want to do is list your players up for I don't know like six hours come back and it hasn't sold because that's a waste of time a waste of your time your waste of your trading time so you want to know the best time to sell your players the best time for me to sell my players on is normally at midnight or 1am that's when most of them actually sell on and that's probably because there are probably still quite a few UK players on ultimate team and also the USA players start to come on but a real big warning I can give to you is never list a card up for 150 coins overnight. And the reason for that is, of course, overnight there's going to be less players on the ultimate team depending on your time zone. Remember that. So let's say, for example, you are in Asia, there will still be quite a few UK players on overnight and some USA players. So take that into fact. But for us UK players, there won't be too many players on overnight. And the last thing you want to do is list your players up for like 150 coins. Because there'll be less people on, less people will actually bid on it, which means it will go for less than it should have. So let's say you have an informed card that goes for 30k during the day. It may go for, for example, 20k on an open bid and you'll make a loss. So just take that into consideration and you, you'll be fine basically. And for, as I said, for me personally, it's like midnight or 1 o'clock. That's the best time for me. But it will, be di it will be different for every different time zone. So just experiment and see when the best time is for you. And it's a very, very big thing for traders as it will determine if you make a small profit or a big profit. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like, 100 likes for me to continue this series. Subscribe to Harps HD and I will see you guys in the next video. Yep, see you guys.